Amanda, and I'm joined by Hi-Rez Mamacita, and together we are Cosplay Queue Up. Hello guys, I'm a little sick, so my voice is a little off, but um, in uh, Cosplay Queue Up we talk about what the costumes we're working on. I'm making a Daisy's Dispersilla costume, Amanda's making Battle Made in Bologna, and in each episode we give you tips and tricks and tutorials on how to get started, and yeah. Today we're going to show you how to paint armor and props from start to finish. Are, are you are you ready for this? Uh, are you going to live through this episode? I'll try to survive. So the paint is what can really make or break your costume. It's what brings your costume to life. It's true. So we recommend using a test piece first. So whatever material you're making your costume out of, go through the entire process with that first so you can tell if it actually like looks the way you want it to look. And it's a very tedious project, so you got to be patient with it because you don't want to mess it up. If you mess it up, then you got to start all over and you waste all that time and money. It's true. If you waste your materials, that's a pain. <sighs> But you're going to need all of this stuff for painting. You're going to first need some wood filler, um, as well as Mod Podge, wood glue, a sealant, a base coat, spray paint, acrylic paint, paint brushes, and sandpaper. So the first step is you're going to want to prep your armor. So for the, our armor, we use Warbla, which you actually have to seal it first. Yeah, one method to do this is uh, getting wood glue, and you get wood glue from any local hardware store and you use this to paint over it so you get that nice prime base to start painting. Yeah, I actually used a different method for my armor. I used wood filler to fill in all the holes and cracks in this, uh, sanded that down, and then used Mod Podge to get a glossy finish. Um, so it's a little bit more denser than just using wood glue, um, but it's pretty, pretty easy method to use. Amazing. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, but no matter what, guys, remember, no matter what method you use, you always want to sand this down so it's nice and smooth and it's easier to paint. So for the next step is you're going to want to spray a base paint on your armor. So I used a gray base paint for this armor and as you can see, this is how it turned out. There's actually a really cool uh, base paint that can make your costume pop and there's really cool videos you can look online to show you how to mix different types of colors with it to give it a really nice effect to it. Yeah, it actually makes a huge difference um, how your the end result is gonna look mm -hmm. based on the base paint. So don't skip this step. After the base paint, you wanna paint it, the or spray paint the color you actually want on the armor. So, yeah, we recommend spray painting because it's pretty cheap and it gives you a lot of coverage over like a wide space. So we've done this piece. Ooh. <laughs> Plus okay. it gives it a really even coat See how shiny it is? Yeah. So the yeah. spray paint we actually used has a texture to it, which will help us in the end achieve like a more armor looking texture. And again, you want to use multiple coats on this to give it that effect. Now comes the fun part. Remember all that work you put into creating the details of your armor, you finally get to make them pop. Yay. All right, using our acrylic paint, you want to add the details to your costume. And be sure to keep looking back at your reference images just to get the consistency of the costume and the details right. Yeah, and if like you see something that you think would be a better, and that would look better in a different color, go for it. It's all about whatever would look great in real life. Yes. Now comes the messy part. But it, it's also fun, yes. but very messy. <laughs> yes, but distressing is actually, it's also just as important as painting your costume. Distressing is what makes your costume pop and adds the whole, all the details and the wear and tear to your costume. Yeah, it makes it feel real. Um, so what you're going to want to do is take some acrylic paint. We're using uh, black and brown to kind of give it that aged look. And you're just going to want to dip your brush in water and then in the paint. There's also a uh, dry brush method where you take your paintbrush and you paint a paper towel with it and you use that to add the wear and tear but it also uses the least amount of paint and gives it a really nice pop and effect to it. Yeah, this step definitely takes patience, but it kind of allows you to have some creative fun with it. So you have to imagine, like if you were wearing this armor to, armor to battle, mm -hmm. where would there be dirt that got collected? Where would it age? Would there be any nicks or dents? And you get to add that to the armor. Yeah. Don't be afraid to get your hands dirty because it's going to be messy. The next step, and it's the most important step, and everyone forgets about this, is you want to add sealant to your armor. Yes. So what it does is it seals in all the paint so it will prevent it from chipping and it just makes the whole thing look great. You can do it in either a glossy or a matte finish, whatever is best for your armor or prop. And it's actually really easy. Just get it, the any type of like matte or glossy, get it in a spray can and just on the piece. Yep. And then you're done. Yeah. But enough about our cosplays. We want to look at what you guys have sent in over the past week. So the first one we're going to look at is Madame Blade Cirquette by Saxa Peach. 
Oh my god, hers was amazing. Yeah. And she has history. She's been making costumes of a lot of our female gods, which is nice. Yeah, her the attention to detail in this cosplay is incredible. Yeah. The next one we're going to feature is actually a work in progress of an Athena cosplay. This one is by La Polila. La Polila. That's such a cute name. Yeah, and she's actually using Warbla for her costume, so I'm actually curious to see how that's going to turn out. Yeah. And hopefully she uses some of her tips. Oh yeah, I'm excited to see how her costume looks. And lastly, we have a makeup look by Sandra Sui, who has done Medusa. And her, her makeup was amazing. Just the detail and everything that came out, it, like it looks like she's wearing a mask. Yeah, and she actually did a video on how you can like achieve the same look, which awesome. is really cool. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for sending in your cosplay pictures. We love seeing them. Please keep tweeting them at us and we'll feature you on the show. Uh, make sure you tune in next episode. We're gonna be looking at how to use expanding foam for props. Mm -hmm. Yay! And we'll see you guys later. Bye guys. <laughs> <laughs>